So now let us proceed with the next part of rational inequalities question. Alright, so let's move on to the next example, example 3. So before I start this example, I would just like to recap back on what are the things that you need to do when we solve uh, questions of inequalities by using table of sign okay so the methods that we have used or the steps okay of using table of signs now let's look at the steps of using table of signs so the first step is we must try to use the properties to obtain zero on one side of our inequality or to the right side of our inequality. Number two, we must try to simplify and factorize if possible. And the third one is we should try to determine the critical value by letting all the factors equal to zero. And the fourth step is the most crucial step where we must create our table of signs. So in our table of sign, we must plot the critical value, choose the interval, evaluate the factor, and try to determine the sign. And final step, we must check the solutions by checking our inequality sign from the start of our question. And those are the steps that are required uh, for us to solve this inequality question by using table of sign. Okay, so we have already recapped on what are the steps required um, in order for us to solve the rational inequalities by using table of signs so there are about five steps included so let's try to solve this question again so first step we need to obtain zero on the right hand side so what we will have here is we're going to have 2x plus 3 over x minus 1 minus with 2x minus 1 over x plus 3 that is less than and equal to 0 okay so the next step is we are trying to simplify so the second step we try to simplify um, and or factorize if possible but let's try to simplify this first so we are gonna expand this 2x plus 3 times with x plus 3 minus with 2x minus 1 times by 2x plus 3 so this one over with x minus 1 x plus 3 right so next step that we are going to do is we try to expand this and try to simplify so expand this if we expand this one by one so take this times by this one so that's what we are going to do so expand it like that okay and we are gonna have here 2x squared plus 9x plus 9 minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 x plus 3 less than or equals to 0 okay and then the next step that we are going to do is try to simplify this so we are going to end up with 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0 9 and 3 we're going to have 12x and then we have plus 8 okay 9 minus 1 is 8 and divided by x minus 1 x plus 3 less than or equals to 0 okay so this is the first and the second step first bring all zero to one side and this is the end of the second step okay um, then now we are trying to determine the critical value by letting factors equal to 0 okay so what we're going to do next is we are going to take all the three factors so what factors do we have here are 12 x plus 8 x minus 1 and x plus 3 so we are gonna have 12 x plus 8 
equals to zero. And then this next one, x minus one equals to zero. And we have x plus three equals to zero. So three factors that we have here. Um, so for this one, when we simplify this, we are gonna have um, 12x equals to negative eight and x is equals to um, negative 8 over 12 which is also x is equals to um, simplify this we're gonna get negative 2 over 3 and for this one we are gonna have x equals to 1 and for the last one we are gonna have x is equals to negative 3 so this is the critical these are the critical values so this is actually the third step if we look through this one so that is the third step over here so now let's look at the fourth step which is we have to create the table of sign so let's do that together okay so now we already have our table of signs um, so first we take our critical values so we have three critical values here uh, negative 2 over 3, 1 and negative 3. So try to arrange that in ascending order. So what we're going to have here is negative 3 will be on top here on the first one. Okay, this is going to be negative 2 over 3 and here is 1. So on the right side, put a positive infinity. On the left hand side, put a negative infinity. Okay, and then don't forget, try to plot our uh, inequality sign. So, because um, in our original question, what we have is less than and equal to. So, the top part, which is the number of negative 2 over 3, that will take the um, inequality sign. Okay, that's the only one that will take the um, closed interval. So, for this one, that will be full dot, full circle. This one will be... Um, an open circle and this one will also be an open circle okay so that's an open interval for this case um, so the next part try to fill in the interval here so the intervals that we have is negative infinity negative 3 and then we have negative 3 negative 2 over 3 and remember that the, the, this is a full circle so that's a square bracket this one is also a square bracket negative 2 over 3 and 1 and here is 1 infinity okay so test value that we are going to take is we are going to take the number in between this interval so let's take negative 4 here let's say negative 2 here 0 and also maybe 2 over here okay then substitute the value of the test value in each of the intervals that we are uh, each of the um, question that we are going to, to look through so 12x plus 8 here negative 4 so that will be negative negative 4 minus 1 is negative negative 4 plus 3 is also a negative so just try to fill in the, the first three row first okay um, and the next one negative 2 this will be negative negative 2 plug in in this one also negative negative 2 plus 3 will be a positive number this one 0 pl plug in here that will be a positive 0 minus 1 negative 0 plus 3 is a positive number and the last one if you plug in 2 inside here that will be a positive number this one will also be a positive number and the last one will also be a positive number now we go through downwards okay we go through downwards and check the value uh, the sign change so here we are gonna have negative sign and negative sign that will be a positive sign and then positive and a negative sign that will be a negative okay so negative times by negative will be a positive number and then a positive and positive will be positive so positive and negative is negative negative and positive is a negative and then all positive so obviously that is also going to be a positive okay so now let's look at uh, we have done our table of sign and the last step is for us to check the solutions okay so um, since we have so we have in our question um, 12x plus 8 after we simplify the question we have it in this form x minus 1 and x plus 3 
less than and equal to zero. So what we have here is less than. So we have to pick pick the parts labeled with a positive or a negative. So because that is a less than here, so that is going to be a negative. Pick the parts that are labeled with negative. So we have this one and also this one. Two intervals that is that are that is negative. So therefore, the solution set for our question is x where x is. So for solution set x is less than negative three. Or we have it this one x is in between negative 2 over 3 so remember this is a full circle so we must have the equal sign x and 1 okay so that is in the form of solution set in the interval form so we have the answer um, negative infinity negative 3 union with negative 2 over 3 1 okay so union because that we need both answers so it's a combination of answer uh, that is why we take the union values okay okay so now we already choose our solution that is the fifth step and the last step so you can check back all the solution that we have done so from the first step we are following the steps that we have um, simplified down. So first step, second step, third, four steps by using table and the fifth step. Okay, so check back the steps that we have written down before. And you can follow this pattern for all the questions that are similar to this one, right? Now, before we end our lecture for today, so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today.